Welcome to the teardown video of this Soundstream Icon wireless Bluetooth speaker. So we're going to have a quick look inside of this little speaker here. We start out by prying off the uh, grill here. I'm using uh, my old pocket knife and uh, you can easily pry this off. You can probably install this without seeing any marks later on. And now we have here the next cover here with the transducer 40 millimeter and the uh, passive radiator and it's hold down with uh, six screws. I'm going to, going to remove those here really quick. And then to get this cover off here we uh, use this pocket knife again. And the, the uh, cover here is actually glued into place here at four locations here, one on each side. Of course this uh, speaker is IPX7 waterproof so I guess this is a way that they help to uh, secure it. And now that it is loose, we have to make sure we don't uh, just rip this off here because the transducer is still here connected, of course, to the PCB. So carefully open this up here and then remove the wire here. There's an easy way to do this. There's just a connector on the PCB. Now here we see the transducer from inside, 40 millimeters. And then on the left side, we also see the uh, passive radiator, All right? This is what this looks like. And you can also see here the seal to make the speaker waterproof. Okay, so now let's have a look at the inside here. This is here the board, capacitors, resistors, all kinds of stuff. And on the top, we see here the four buttons. And then here there is one more screw, that's it, that holds the PCB down. I think that's just one more screw. Right here you see the LED for uh, when you turn it on or when it's charging. Okay, so uh, let me remove the screw really quick and then see if we can take out the board here. But it still seems to be tightly in there. So let's have a closer look at what's going on. And then here you see where the charging port is. And the aux jack here, that's where there's two more screws here. So we have to remove those as well. Okay, and now that we removed those screws, we can finally take out the board here. So you just lift it out, but we have to be careful. There's two more connectors here. One goes to the microphone. Here, follow the arrow. Look, that's where they are. One goes to the microphone, the other one goes to the battery. And I remove those really quick here. And then you see here the small one, small connector. That's where the uh, microphone is connected to. See here, this goes into the frame. There's all kinds of goop to keep it uh, waterproof. And then here we have here the second connector that's with the three leads that goes here to the battery with the charge controller on top here. And then let's have a look here. 3.7 volts, 750 milliamps. And on the right side here, you see the uh, black hole here. That's where the uh, transducer goes into. And then also here, this big chunk of metal to weigh down the speaker to give it some weight. Probably also for audio quality, for uh, vibration, and or to reduce the vibration. And then let's have a look at the uh, PCB board here. This is the uh, front side. If you're interested, what this looks like, have a deep look i hope the video quality is good enough here see here the four buttons on top on the right this big block the uh, micro usb port auxiliary port so the microphone is external as we've just seen with the uh, wire that we are well that's what we have the connector for here you can look inside see here the little seal to keep it watertight and then all kinds of black goop again on the back side. Other than that, not much going on here on the on the rear. So everything seems to be installed here in the front. Okay, yeah, so I hope this video was uh, helpful here, the teardown video of the Soundstream icon. If you have any questions or comments, then please leave a message below and don't forget to check out my other videos about this speaker.